Elon Musk reveals insane plan to catch super heavy. Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel and we are here to present you with yet another exciting content in the world of space niche. Yes, that's right. It's Elon Musk and the SpaceX new catch strategy for landing super heavy rockets. So why does SpaceX want to catch a super heavy? Let's find out. But before we start, subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the notification button so you never miss out on any of our latest space news. SpaceX, the leader in aerospace innovation, is recently working to develop a fully reusable launch system capable of returning astronauts to the moon and enabling humans to colonize Mars. It also envisions a future where Starship can be an alternative for point-to-point -point travel on Earth. The launch system consists of Starship and the Super Heavy rocket that will lift off from the Starbase Stage 0, which is the launch mount and all the ground support equipment, including a 400-foot tall orbital launch tower that will have mechanical arms to stack the spacecraft on top of the booster and catch the vehicles as it returns from space. In 2013, SpaceX announced that it will attempt to bring their Falcon 9 rocket back to Earth. To add to the absurdity of this trial, they were aiming to land on a floating drone ship somewhere in the middle of the ocean. This was an impossible task at the time, and if it was a successful attempt, it would be a game changer for rocket reusability. They began to use test vehicles to discover how they were going to land them. After different trials with failures resulting in explosions, there was headway. SpaceX was finally able to safely land a Falcon 9 rocket. It is no longer an unusual thing to see a Falcon 9 landing again and again. This feat has made SpaceX save over $1.4 billion as they no longer need to make new boosters for every flight. Until now, SpaceX is the only company that has been able to land and reuse its boosters. Despite these major achievements, SpaceX is shifting its focus to another grand feat. Musk recently announced a plan to catch the Super Heavy booster. What SpaceX wants is to catch it over the air as it approaches the launch mount. Back in December 2020, CEO Elon Musk revealed a wild sounding plan. He tweeted that his company is trying to catch the Super Heavy booster with the launch tower arm, using the grid fins to take the load. In other words, Musk wants to bring Super Heavy down directly onto the launch stand, which is caught by a tower arm, so that its landings are not landings at all. This method would not require landing gear. Instead, there will be grid fins on Super Heavy that allow it to catch and double as a way to steer during the precise touchdowns. But why does this plan sound so difficult? Elon Musk stated that having the Super Heavy be caught saves mass from the legs and the cost of the legs. Therefore, Super Heavy can be immediately repositioned with its booster and the launch mount and be refueled and ready to fly again in under an hour. Elon Musk says that SpaceX's Super Heavy boosters could forego landings entirely, relying instead on a wild crane-based solution to recover the world's largest rocket stage. The Super Heavy booster, tasked with carrying a 1,400-ton starship around 25% of the way to orbit, will be the largest rocket stage ever built, and by a large margin. On December 30th, SpaceX planned to more or less recover Super Heavy boosters similar to Falcon 9 and Falcon H, landing them either far downrange on an ocean-based platform or returning to touchdown as close as possible to the launch pad. Launch mount recovery would require unprecedented precision and accuracy and add a new element of risk or a need for extraordinary sturdy pad hardware. However, the benefits would be equally significant, eliminating the need for expensive recovery assets, time-consuming transport, and even the time it would take the crane of Super Heavy boosters from the pad adjacent to the landing zone. Instead, it might quite literally catch Super Heavy in mid-air, grabbing the booster before it can touch the ground by somehow slotting an elaborate launch tower arm underneath its steel grid fins. 
Although such a solution sounds about as complex and risky as it gets, it would technically preclude the need for any booster recovery infrastructure, even including the legs Super Heavy would otherwise have needed. Super Heavy and Starship are also reusable. By saving money from eliminating the legs and booster, the efficiency of Super Heavy makes it even better. As Musk hopes for regular trips to space to become commonplace for humanity, he has hinted that his long-term vision is to increase production of the Starship, where they can build 100 a year for around 10 years. This would make a fleet of a thousand. Such a fleet can transport 100 megatons of cargo, or around 100,000 people to Mars every 26 months, as that is when Mars and Earth are closest in their orbits. This would result in a lot of starships with many super heavies flying up and returning to Earth. It would be busy. Things would need to be busy for Musk to realize his dream of constructing a colony on Mars by the late 2020s. The launch tower would have a harness that could grab the super heavy booster after it boosted back to Earth and lowered itself into the harness's arms. The super heavy would be sure to position itself very carefully so that it returns to Earth and it is gently caught by the harness. This would not be a case where it is just free falling back to the planet after helping put a starship into orbit. It would use its boosters to carefully reposition itself and slowly descend back to where it needs to be for the harness to grab it. This would be a very detailed process, not just a rocket plunging to Earth in hopes of getting caught. After capturing Super Heavy, the harness would lower the booster back onto the launch pad, and therefore this would eliminate the need for landing legs. Such elimination would also increase the odds of a safe recovery, as some tests of the booster to the landing pads have had less than desired explosive results. SpaceX has also planned to provide intercontinental commercial flights that would give travelers the ability to fly around the globe in less than an hour with point-to-point -point landings. To not use many super heavies on starships, it is important to have a fast turnaround for the rocket. Moreover, SpaceX has an agreement with NASA to assist with sending cargo and crews to the moon for Project Artemis. That calls for fast capture and refueling to meet contractual obligations to NASA. Being able to capture Super Heavy would be incredibly useful. In the past, Elon Musk has discussed capturing Super Heavy rockets in more theoretical terms. It was not until 2020 he made it abundantly clear this was now something in the stages of active planning that could soon be implemented. How so? That is something that Elon Musk and SpaceX only know, as it is already very far along. Or is it in the extremely early stage? There will probably be some information revealed by SpaceX and Elon Musk soon. That will make it clear just how far along the concept of capturing the super heavy is. And it will be exciting to see an actual process as opposed to just reading about it or watching computer renderings of how the process could go. Now that we have come to the end of the video, what do you think of Elon Musk's new plan? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications button so that we can keep you updated with the latest space news. Thank you for watching. See you next time.